let's say you have a lot oh no that is not how to draw a lot okay forgive that very nice road and maybe a creek up here and maybe some contours from the mountain all right first what do you want to do do you design the building immediately maybe not but according to ordinance you already know the sizes of your setbacks right right you know that your sun rises on the east whoa 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 e e and go south to the west to set you also know that your northeast monsoon winds are cold and your southwest monsoon winds usually bring typhoon that's when you provide some hard vegetation to buffer those winds and allow some through shrubs so that the winds can go freely pleasant winds that are cold you also know that when a car drives by the driver is on the left side of the car so he cannot immediately sharp turn here that's why you can put the carport a bit where it's more comfortable for the car to turn say this is the carport where he parks but you could actually extend here to add something like utility areas water district electrical pole maybe card house some vegetation you also want entrance for pedestrian towards the house now you know that when the car parks you want to put your groceries towards the kitchen while your guests go towards entertainment areas such as the living room Ta -da! such public spaces and maybe you want your kitchen not to be seen so much from the car so you put it along service areas maybe a utility area for the car maybe a toilet and bath or just toilet for a common restroom maybe some staircases staircase and your kitchen over here access kitchen maybe related to the dining here let's say you also want to add a pool a swimming pool but you don't want it to be too cold because of those winds so you place it somewhere a bit further where you could also enjoy the view to the creek and maybe your private area like your master bedroom has the view to the pool as well but you don't want it too near the service and public areas you separate it by let's say toilet and bath and maybe a walk-in closet or a special hallway for say Ta -da -ta -ta. and a special garden at the back that can connect to the kitchen while the toilet and bath also has ventilation towards the outside master bedroom maybe a lanai and maybe this is the pool now that you have your spaces laid out as concepts you could work on circulation as well let's say yellow so first he parks goes to the kitchen drops off groceries others come and visit from outside others came from the car others want to go up the stairs towards their room if they think the privacy is not too safe they can also redirect the stairs towards the kitchen or dining others might not like the service areas too near the road but others may think that it's better because the septic tank can just go towards the city sewer line instead of polluting the creek we also have view towards the creek here maybe the sun sunrise sun is good for the kitchen because we want to have breakfast here so we can put a nook breakfast nook or maybe others might reason that the sun rays is good to kill the bacteria in the wet and service areas or you could add a laundry now that's all up to you what matters is this 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 and nature will not change your design should adopt using the freehand tool let's try to draw the creek maybe the road from here and our contour lines remember our sun is somewhere here 
our set is somewhere there our winds and our winds okay three carport but we would want to extend that by half of it for utility water district electrical. let's say it's too near the sidewalk so we want to extend it by adding a ramp of 1.5 meters a 1.2 For the toilet and bath, landscape. Just for the wall. Consistency, especially in dimensions, is very pleasing for a repetition. Now, if you have the extension, flat text free, you could label them directly inside SketchUp. And also, revise it. Call it an area when it's not really enclosed by walls, otherwise it would be called a room. If a texture doesn't go the way you want, right-click Texture Position. I have decided to sacrifice the window size consistency to go along with the tile. We tried to make this a little bit above by 0 0.01 so the surfaces do not collide. 